for Holly and I just to read the story yeah. is miraculous for you guys to have lived it and you to be go through it. I can't imagine what that was like. Take us back to, to how it all started and how it happened. It happened um, within a, a space of a few hours. I just suddenly started feeling incredibly ill um, and um, feeling very, very sick, very high temperature, very confused and a feeling like I was going to die. And, and I went into a coma. I woke up five months later and um, I lost my arms, my legs and my face was removed and Nick had given birth during that time because she was expecting it uh, when I went into the coma so and I, I didn't even know who she was. I couldn't remember. Oh my gosh. Initially, did you, initially you were thinking it was a bit of food poisoning or something when you initially went you'd, you'd had a, an out-of-date sausage or something like that? That's right, yeah. But. Mm. Uh, um, what, what do you think it was then? What do you think caused it initially? Because it, it took them a little while to diagnose it as sepsis in the first place, and we'll come back to that point. Yeah. Um, but what, what was it? Because you'd ha you had a bit of a cold, didn't you? Yeah. And, um, and it turns out that it was a, a throat and it was an infection that yeah. you had. What, what happened was that in the few days before he got really ill, Tom had been to the dentist and the dentist had pricked his gum and just a normal checkup. Um, Tom hadn't really thought anything about it because these things happen to us and also I think because I was nine and a half months pregnant yeah, you're You know, he was just thinking, oh, I've yeah, well, you know, I'm not gonna stop me making a fuss <laughs> so um, Yes, yeah, so we had to do a bit of detective work to back work back to the dentist thing because it was so ephemeral and it happened so quickly yeah. so, uh, so Tom's gone into hospital and suddenly, you know, he's, he's talked us through the story five months later he's waking up and half his face has been taken off and his arms have been amputated like you're there sitting by the bedside and talking to the doctors yeah as this is unfolding in front mm -hmm. of you I can't it must have been an avalanche of information and emotion that you had to deal with what was it like you start um, your, your life just kind of collapses down from having plans and looking into the future, especially if you're expecting a child. Um, suddenly your life kind of just reduces down to the next 15 minutes, the next half hour, the next hour, the next day. And so it just kind of really, really gets split up and every hour, every day is, you know, a bombard you're bombarded with information, you're bombarded with decisions as well, because obviously he's not in a position to make any decisions. So what so. sort of decisions are you having to Well, make? it's about, um, you have to sign, obviously, the paperwork for the amputations, and it's not a simple process, it's not just once, boom, and you're done. Uh, they have to just keep revising, revising, revising to chase this thing upwards. And you had, as you said, when you were waking up and you were having these moments of coming through, you would have to explain time and time again what had happened, what procedures you'd had, what operations you'd had, because you wouldn't remember the next time you'd wake up. So you had that moment of realisation over and over and over again. Yes, it was, it was a very confusing, difficult time. And... Um, I used to lie awake at night in the hospital and just trying to make sense of it and trying to rationalise how I could possibly have ended up like this. I, 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 in the end, I invented a, a, a memory of a car crash right. and really? decided that I must have been in a... In, crashed a car, cos... It was the only way you could process what had happened. Yeah, cos I, I couldn't work out how anybody could end up like this. And let, let's talk about because it, it, it's extraordinary. I mean, the, the, you, just explain the procedures that you had to where you are now and how you're living life. Oh well, you know, obviously the, initially the amputations, which I woke up with, but then I went through several years of reconstructive surgery to yeah. try and rebuild the face, and it was always uncertain whether or not um, I could um, wh whether whether the the, the facial plastic surgery was achievable mm. um, it, it's not as um, as easy as 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 the media makes it out yeah, it's yeah. very complicated and 